This is the last video on we'll explore the more button. We've added pages, we've created a navigation, and now we'll explore the more button. So I'm going to click on my third page. You can see I have nothing on there. I'm going to add something on here. So I'm going to edit my page. Okay, we're going to save that. Remember that you can always change the name of your page here as well. So we're going to look at the More button. You have a revision history. Now your revision history shows you different revisions that you've made of your web page. However, don't rely on this finding every single mis um, revision that you had made. It saves different things, but don't be guaranteed that the last thing that you created will be there. So just know, know that it's available if you want to try it. You can subscribe to page changes. So that means that if you have somebody else working on this website as well, then you'll get an email when this site has been changed. We can change our page settings. So maybe we don't want to take the show the title, the sub pages, attachments, and the comments. And we do want to show this in the sidebar, but if we say save, you'll see that everything is gone. So I'm not sure that that's real helpful, there, but you can add and delete different things. You can print the page. You can move the page. We can also delete the page. This is where you can delete if you don't want to use, have it anymore. So now it's deleted. It's gone from my navigation also. Um, you can change the page template, but I wouldn't suggest doing this. Most You're going to probably want it as a web page. Um, I'll just show you. You can do web pages and different things like that, but I would strongly recommend just leaving it there since you're creating a web page. Let's go here again. Um, you can subscribe to your site changes. We can edit our site layout. We've already been there. That's where you do the where you can do this um, sidebar, etc. The next one is a big one. Manage your site. There's a lot of different things here that you can look at. This is also where if you want to delete your site, you can delete your site. Right here you can delete the site. You can see recent site activity. You can take a look at all the different pages. You can get to the, some of the same place places on different other places um, on the menu bar and the more you can do look at your attachments your page templates deleted items general sharing and permissions general is where we just were and down here at the bottom is one of the really important ones it's themes colors and fonts so let's say that we kind of get tired of this theme here we can change different things here or we can choose a base theme. So I'll choose this one here and we'll say save and it will change your whole site not just your one page. Go back to the site and then right here you can have sharing and permissions. You can allow people to to do uh, editing on your site. This is where I've gotten all the help from the site's help that I've put links to on my web page and you could report an issue. So I think that's all there really is. Um, hopefully this will help you and you will create your own Google site.